All right. Welcome back to the Slater Rock Shop. Hadn't posted in a while. Had some gearbox issues, had to put another gearbox on. But everybody's talking about shackle reversal. Everybody's talking about shackle reversal. And I've heard pros and cons, and I finally just decided, you know what? If you've seen my Ranger build, I had the shackles up front like a Jeep. And I said, you know what, let's take them off and let's put them in the back and just get a look at it and see what it looks like. And I'll have to admit, it looks pretty cool. It's definitely got my caster more right. It's, it's pushed the front end back just a little, not, not too much. I still, you know, it's messed my shock mounts up. You can see they're a little off now. So I'm about to change that if I keep it this way, but I don't think I am. I feel like either way has got a lot of travel, um, whether it's they're up front or in the back. The problem I have with the whole shackle reversal is this. And this thing does have a lot of travel with the shackles. I really have a spring that's a little too long. I should have built my mounts a little different. But the problem I'm having is, if you look at that drive shaft, front ride height, that thing is pretty much bottomed out. Like it's all the way collapsed. But I'm gonna show you, let's see if I can get a good shot here. I'm gonna show you what happens when I lift this thing up and it gets its travel. So it's almost, like I'm saying, you know, it's almost all the way. I think this will get a good video. Yeah, it's almost too short when I'm looking at it like that. If this tire comes up any, I feel like you're gonna crack the T case. But I'm gonna show you what happens when I pick this thing up with the lift. got a good shot of that that drive shaft is just about slipped the splines all the way out so you're looking at look at all those splines showing so it went from like man this shaft's too short like it's it's gonna bottom out if it compresses any to this thing ain't long enough so i'm definitely gonna need a special uh drive shaft and of course i'll have to put a caster shim in there because that that drive shaft probably won't even spin right there uh, with the pinion angle being so bad. But that's where the shackle unloaded there. And like I was saying, I really, I've really got the springs. I got the perches, uh, the, the spring mounts a little too close together, but it does make for a lot of travel. So I can't complain about that. But um, I think I'm gonna put it the other way just for the simple fact I don't like the drive shaft traveling that long. I have to buy a high, high dollar drive shaft. I'll have to do a lot of mods and I'm just not sure if it's worth it at this point. The other issue I'm having is, is when I'm back down on the ground, that Pittman arm is pretty close to this spring. It's not now because we're all the way decompressed. But you know, a lot of people do shackle reversal but I don't know if it's for the Ranger. Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment. Tell me what I should do.